In this class, we will be solving some numerical based on Boyle's law. So Boyle's law, we have already taken a class when we have shown that the law is simple. It means PV is equal to K. So pressure into volume, if nothing else is changing, temperature is kept constant, mass is kept constant, if temperature is kept constant. And if I only vary either the pressure or the volume, then PV is equal to K uh, during this uh, process is equal to constant pressure into volume remain constant. Okay, so that is the basic thing. And here are the graphs which represent the rela this relationship. Okay, all of these graphs are representing the exact same relationship PV is equal to constant. Okay, so that is our basic information. And if you are not clear on that, then look at a class uh, before this. And there we have discussed the Boyle's law in great detail. Here, a problem is given very very simple problem a balloon on ground so the balloon is on the ground on the ground the pressure we assume is equal to one atmosphere okay so that is the first thing and the volume of the balloon is equal to 75 liters okay so that is the amount of air inside the balloon and the temperature is 28 degrees celsius now what we have been said here is that the temperature remains the same so it is completely out of the equation so that value is redundant we don't even have to use it the only thing that we need to really understand is that now it has been taken to a height where the pressure has become half okay so now we know that p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 so the what is the pressure here it was one atmosphere and what was the volume 75 what about the second case into 75 p2 p2 is equal to 0 0.5 and we have been asked to find the value of v2 okay so that is the question mark here okay so this is the value that we have to find out so with this information we can now see that v2 is equal to 1 into 75 and this 0.5 i will write it as half because those that will make our job simple 75 into 2 and this comes out to be 150 liters okay because the uh, unit cannot really change so that was the first example very very simple example now this is the second example now here what we have been done what has been done so a gas has been put in the container so the, there is a gas in the container the volume of the container is equal to 1 liter and the pressure is equal to 400 kilopascal so p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 that is the relationship again the same equation we are going to use the pressure it has already been given as 400 kilopascal okay and the volume the first volume has been given as one liter so that we already know what is the new pressure again we have been asked to find the value of pressure okay so p2 is question mark we don't really know that what about the volume <coughs> notice that the most of the students here what mistake they make they say that the new volume is two liters that is not the case here what is happening here is that we are being the our vessel our original vessel so let's say that this was our vessel originally okay so this was the vessel in which the gas was filled now this vessel the entire gas is not being moved into a, a new container of two liter that is not the case that is not what is happening here it is connected it is connected okay so there has been a there is a pipe and using which it is now joined so this one liter and two liter vessels they are now joined together so what is the total volume now it is two, two plus one which is equal to three liters so p2 will be equal to 400 divided by three and not two and if you compute this this will come out to be 133.33 kilopascal okay very very simple problems on Boyle's law so definitely don't miss these problems very very simple thank you